Oops. We're, yeah, we're working it out. We're working don't it think out. we're live on Twitter yet, but we'll figure okay. that out. We are He's live doing on it. YouTube. He's doing it. At Boston versus the book on yes. Twitter to follow us, you guys on Sports Grid, Night Owls. How are you? Live on YouTube and Twitter, Brigade in the live chat. We love you guys. Thank you. Lots and lots of good stuff to come at you, Mr. Sherapan. How are you doing on this Thursday? Very busy morning, sir. Mm. Making calls, talking to people. Got up and watched the Australian Open women's semifinal at, I believe it was 3 30 in the morning. On purpose? Uh, woke up by accident, stayed okay. up on purpose, and okay. then. You know, four o'clock in the morning here, seven o'clock Eastern. So you could talk to people back east about, you know, oh either coming on the show, sponsoring the show, oh. wanting to be a part of all these things. So got some calls done and out of the way there. Mm. And um then got some information about a shooting a block from my kids' school today. This morning. This morning. This 5 30 morning? in the morning. I still haven't got the complete details of this, but yeah. So the kids... that was our morning over here. We were like, wait a second. What does that mean? Leave extra time. Leave, leave extra time to get your kid to school due to a police incident. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's always a fun yeah. thing to wake up to in the first thing. In right? the morning. <laughs> That's the kind of morning it's been over here. But oh, it's all good. My. It's all good. Goodness it's all good. gracious. Yeah. Well, I hope, I hope everything yeah. is all good. So well, you guys woke up to, to, to sports book violence too. Like, I don't know what I was. I, I saw some Twitter stuff with these people going back and forth, all these things happening. I mean, it's crazy. I don't want to get involved, mm -mm. but we're switching a lot of, yeah, we're, we're definitely Switzerland, but That's right. we're just, and Switzerland. Then I'm getting a call right now. Oh, from a robo call scam oh. likely scam likely <laughs> scam likely that's what it says on your phone yeah, yeah. no, it never stops no it never stops all You're right so this is Tony versus the book every day between 10 30 or kinda. so and noon. <laughs> kind of, i love everyone says ish 10 o'clock ish <laughs> it's the Just gotta make sure the stuff works <laughs> i love it. it works for here 10 a.m ish Man. All right, so a couple of big things here right at the top. We've been teasing these things for a little bit. You saw it probably on Twitter yesterday, potentially maybe. First and foremost, you guys have been doing, I mean, I don't know why. I guess it's because we've been answering it on the show, so people. I've got three different things that have been sent to ask you and me, Dave, to talk about on the show today from either Twitter or email oh. at, uh, at askthebvb at gmail.com. Okay. That just came in like, today like before the show after the rundown in between the rundown being sent and the show starting it was sent in so we have some interesting things to get to for sure and i love it because people want either future wagers discussed or they want exactas or they want different plays tonight they want discussed so it's very cool so we will try to to do whatever we can do to help you guys answer those questions but okay. but starting on monday we can't put this on the screen okay so i need your ears all right we've got laws listen, and rules people, listen yeah we can't tell you we can't put the link on the screen it's against the rules but if you Where go right now to youtube.com slash at boston versus the book okay youtube.com slash at boston versus the book or just go to youtube and search at boston versus the book yeah we need you to go and subscribe to the new youtube channel mm. because we will be airing live come monday not where we are right now. Not right? here. Brigade, you guys are, I, I mean, for people who come on in, I'm going to tell you about this today, tell you about this tomorrow. I'll remind you as much as I possibly can. It'll be on the Discord channel. Right. New home for the Bostonian versus the book. We have our own YouTube channel yes. that we are going to matriculate over to on Monday at well, Boston so, versus the book. So just like, and I, I, I talked to so many great people and they give me these little snippets here and there and i hear them and then i use them yes explain it to me like i'm a seven-year-old we're picking up our home yes and we're moving it to another home that we are keeping the home no it's us. we're we're leaving oh it's our home we're buying a new home oh we were renting ah. we, were, we were renting a house we didn't own it we're now buying our own home Ooh. so we now own so we now own the home we oh, can paint the, it. we can mm. paint the walls we can blow out the kitchen we can do whatever the hell we want make the walls any color we want yeah we can hang any kind of pictures we want yes 
It's our home now. So that's where we're going. Wear whatever kind of jackets we want. <laughs> Hoodies and all. Hoodies so and all. Although, again, whatever. we talked about it yesterday. I'm not a fan of the hoodie under the sport coat. But listen, if we want to do it, we can. Yes. So that is happening come Monday. All right. So you guys, if you're searching around, oh, that's where we will weekend. be on Monday. Okay. So now that's kind of the first big announcement. Okay. So that's our new <laughs> subscribe at Boston versus the book right now. Okay. Please and watch the show live because you got guys like Tyler coming in. Say, can we put in stripper poles in the new house? Why not? <laughs> do whatever you want. That's fine. Let's do it. Let's, that's, it it's, it's easy. I'm single. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm in. <laughs> Tyler and I, let's go, boy. Like, come on, man. <laughs> you and I will have some fun. It'll be crazy up in this. You know, get one of those gun, one of those dollar machines and go and start firing off like double oh, dollar stop. machines. Stop. <laughs> We sound awesome. like the content space right now. We're awesome. shoot. <laughs> yeah, this is make it rain. Yeah, make it rain. Make it so rain. Play of the day on the BBB. Oh, Come on. Jeez. Bang oh. your bookie. Uh, oh. Then next week, I'm working on it currently, but next week we will launch. It's going to be basic, boys. Like, let's be girls. Let's be on, like, I, I'm not a web designer, okay? But we're, we need a website. A web so we have a website. Then uh -huh. we can go get our own Discord channel and have a Discord channel tied to the website. So we so will be have taking to have the website first before you do the discord. Check. Correct. So we can do if whatever the name of the BVB.com, whatever the hell we're going to call it. Right. Slash chat. So the discord right. channel will then get us in that custom URL will take us right to our own discord channel for the brigade. Nobody else. Right. Just us. Right. And we will build communication. We will build that up. Yes. All right. So oh. that is. Man, there's a lot of shit going on. A lot. We, we, we've been telling you guys for weeks. This Trying is, to explain it It's going to be busy, okay? We are going to Arizona. We are going to be on Radio Row. We are going to be doing the show from the Super Bowl, okay? We are right. going to do the show. Yeah. And, like, all these things in February are going to be rolling into the month. So just heads up. The first thing is Monday, however, though. Moving. I know it, the first question is, okay, it's moving to at Boston versus the book. Go for search on Twitter. You'll see the new subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay. We need you guys over there to subscribe. So if you we do. subscribe to the old site, come over to the new site. Okay. Come yes. with us. Secondly, new website will happen next week. Oh. Then the discord channel. Yes. That's how that's going to go. So yes. then we go through all next week, which is a good week because it's the dead week between the super bowl and the uh or the pro bowl and the super bowl so we got that dead week right and then we go to arizona the next week we're never going to charge two dimes a month for the discord are we we're never going to charge any two dimes actually like 20 cents <laughs> we're not even <laughs> we're not we're not even we're not even going to charge you two dimes. okay <laughs> i don't want no dimes. trouble no. i don't want nobody people coming after no. us but like that guy the ufc guy that yeah was only no people have come to me place like, People on, have come and said to me, why don't you and Dave put the show behind a paywall? Why don't you go do a Patron type of situation where your audience would Patron pay? Patron or to... Patreon? Patreon. Yeah, it's a Patron. Sorry, Patron's alcohol. Patreon's the other one. Sorry, thank I'm you. See where yes, your Patreon. Right, so right. it's a Patreon or go do like, like I don't know. I, there's a content space version of OnlyFans. I don't know, like something like that. Whoa, where whoa, whoa, you put whoa, it behind an OnlyFans? Hold on. <laughs> no, a content version of it. The content space oh, version Oh, oh, so, oh. I was going to say, I didn't see that. I didn't see Discord. that part in the notes. Yeah, or, or whatever it might be. And I've, I mean. I mean I'll I, do it, though, if we have to. You and I have never really discussed about this, but I have been adamant in my entire career, I will never charge anybody for any content that I do. I just, I can't stomach it. It's just not. If I worked for someone and said, hey, look, we're putting your stuff behind a paywall, then okay, fine, that's your call. But if I have the, the call, it's my decision I don't ever want to put anything I do behind a paywall. I, I think it's free content is the best space to be in. The subscription model works for some, but I think it limits the number of people you can talk to and you make money off your audience. And while I will ask you and we will ask you to support the sponsors that come in who help us keep the show alive, yes, it's still your choice. You can watch the show every day and choose to do that. You have oh, your yes. choice to be involved versus me saying, I need a hundred dollars for you to watch the show a month or whatever it is, 50 bucks, 25 bucks, five bucks, whatever it might be. Right. So that's, it's just one of my things. It's why I don't believe in selling picks, all that stuff. So no two dimes. No, we're not going to be selling a dime or any dimes. So again, 
BVB streaming on a new YouTube channel come Monday. YouTube.com slash at, at Boston versus the book or go search on YouTube at Boston versus the book. New website next week or first ever website next week. And then we'll do the Discord channel at some point during the week next week. We'll tell you when that goes live. It'll be February the 1st, be before February 1st, which is Wednesday. So all that stuff mm -hmm. happening. And then I know a lot of you are going to freak out and go, where did it go? Where did it go? The Why audio feed. Nobody got to freak out. Nobody oh, they will. Everyone always watch. does. Whenever you move, people freak out. But the audio feed, if you listen to this podcast, not changing. Okay? Nothing's changing with the audio podcast at all. Nothing's changing with Sports Grid. And nothing is changing with Twitter. Okay? At Boston versus the book. That not changing. Streaming to Twitter. Not changing. Just a heads up as to what we're going to do going forward with all this stuff. So, heads up. The only thing that is switching is the live show on YouTube coming up on Monday. Mm. Did that cover everything? It's a lot. <laughs> I think so. Okay. I think we're good for, I mean, for the announcements. We've been Thursday, telling you though, We got roll mm, call Friday tomorrow. tomorrow. That's why I had to do it today because tomorrow's going to be so busy with everything right. else going on. People are going to be so into to roll call Friday, which I'm going to make the prediction. Tomorrow will be our biggest roll call Friday ever. So careful. Our numbers are like, like we're, we're hockey happening sticking. right now. You sent me that graph yesterday. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> we're hockey sticking. It's crazy. We're watching everything blow up. Hockey sticking. It's you and this oh. hockey bullshit. Bruins. I did I bad mean, last night. We'll get to that later. I had a bad night in hockey last night. Oilers. My gosh. What was took that down Jason? everybody. The Oilers got everybody. They killed us. What's going on with that? All yeah. right, Patrick Mahomes the Kraken a, destroyed the Canucks, though. The Kraken destroyed the Canucks. You were right. Yeah. You were right about the Those are good. You, Sometimes you get the good with the bad. Yeah. Uh Mahomes, walking boot, no. Limp, no. Number gone. Chiefs now back to being the favorite here today for the AFC championship game. Mm. Do you put anything into this idea that because he was walking without a limp, he's fine? Well, this is this is the propaganda that they said. This is exactly what they do. It's like when they show the shot at the field when it's eight ways sideways rain. Right. And they Whoa! start the game and it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like uh -huh. you see the stuff on right. the TV. This is a metaphor for life, right? You can't believe everything you see and hear all mm. the time. Mm -hmm. This is moving markets. People are going, he's good. Bet it. Who the hell knows? All the pros. They're on both sides of the game, not just because of his ankle and whether he's good or bad or what he's doing walking. Because offered. They take – this happens every single week. It doesn't happen that much in the AFC and NFC Championship when every content person in the world, every – even mainstream media people are looking at this number going, what's going on? Why is the line moving? All this other stuff. Everybody wants to jump in a space where we've been for years talking about this stuff. Mm -hmm. They bet this – Anytime a line is less than two, they take the plus on both sides. If they could take – when the line opened up, they grabbed all the Cincy plus 120s they could get. Money line. Money line. Or yeah. they take the points, but they take the money line. Just walk me through walk me through this. And you financial guys, please don't come at me. I got too many things going on. I'm just explaining it so the seven-year-old understands yeah. it, okay? Plus 120 on the Bengals. Well, they keep betting it. They move it. They move it. You take plus 120 or plus 110 on the Chiefs once it flips. Mm -hmm. So now I got plus 110 and plus 120. $10,000 each. I'm getting back. I've spent 2000 and I'm getting back either 1100 or 1200 when I win. Either side. I've just put $2,000 into the system and I'm getting... 2100 back or 2200 back? Let me think. Is that 10%? <laughs> yeah. 5% or 10%? On two grand, it's 5%. 100 is, right? If uh, I get back yeah, to 2200. Yeah, yeah. $100 back on a $2,000 investment is, yeah, 5%. 5% yeah. on one end, 10% on the other. I don't care who wins. Right. I don't care what you people like. It don't matter to me. Mm -hmm. Just made minimum 5% on my money in, in a week. I got to put mm -hmm. it out and hold it. You get to hold it for a week. I get it back. I'll be in the book on Sunday night or Monday to pick it up. That's what they're doing. 
All now, move in markets and Chef Europe. Benny pointed this out today for you to comment on. Now it's changed, but this uh -oh. morning at FanDuel, the Chiefs were plus one and favored on the money line. The Chiefs no. were plus one no. No, and they were no, minus no. one twelve, and the Bengals were minus one, minus one oh four. I I <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I, got, I got something to say about a lot of things. I have what the f what are they doing over there? He just I don't said understand he it. said it's it's corrected, but how can you be plus one and the favorite? Not sure how long this was like this, but Dave would have a field day with this. <laughs> this would be something that they would come in a room and say, "Who's doing this? You're fired. Get the yep. what are you can't be that. <laughs> so, can't yeah. be that." So that's Speaking Chef which, B just, pointed that out. Have you seen the Gronk commercials for, for the kick thing? If I have gone, not, oh, and I don't want oh, to. This is what we're to. doing now. This is what we're doing. To. Nonstop. He's doing tra he did it. They genius marketing. They did a training montage like Rocky yeah. for Gronk to do the kicking. You know he's yeah. gonna blow it, right? He's gonna fall on his face. It's gonna be I, bad. I, I don't know. I, I just I mean he's I, such a big dude, though. He's gonna tow the ball, right? Does that make you want to bet? When you no. see those commercials and stuff, no. like, I don't get it. But I will say this though: I would have bet on the Bud Bowl when I was a kid. If we you had did. given me, if you had given me a line on the Bud Bowl, I would have bet on it. We did with each other. Yeah, but I mean, like at a book, if you the you Bud gave me a Bowl line, was on tremendous, the book. tremendous, the best ad campaign ever for for during a if Super Bowl. It's guys, the most memorable. If you're too young to even know what we're talking about, just Google Bud Bowl. Yeah. On YouTube, it was watch the it. best commercials ever. Oh. Like we literally had cheering interests as to who was going no to score, doubt. who was going to win. Like it was passionate. Oh, People cared. Man. Like, oh, and Bud Light or Bud, who's going to win this game? I 100% would have bet on the Bud Bowl. If you'd give and me I know a, it's only Thursday line. and we can't do Roll Call Friday, but I see some familiar faces. Big Nelly Buckets is in What's here up? today. Rainmaker 5 one to Bama last night. My, oh my God. God. What was that? Man, oh, man. I don't, I, well, Bama on the money line during the game was good. Yes, but their line, I mean, my but goodness. Minus, minus uh, 110 and even money. I was betting it during there the show. Go. Um, Who else has popped in here? Look at this. Curtis T wants a hat store. We're working on the hat store, Curtis oh, that's T. what I'm We're building the website for. Do you this understand? Is, this is all this part is, of the whole is, deal. We're building doing. the website for these reasons. Yes, so we yes, have yes, the ability yes. to have a store where we can buy hats and people all over the country can buy hats. My yes. Goodness. Customized. GC Sarup? He, he said, Dave, I just want to say that you are one in a million to actually pronounce my last name correctly. Thank you. Oh. I hope I said it right just now. I don't know how I said it before. It looks <laughs> like Sarup. So I hope I, I hope I did it right. No, it's not maple syrup or blueberry syrup, which, by the way, if you had your choice between maple syrup and blueberry syrup, which would you pick, sir? I'm from New England, my friend. We don't do blueberry syrup where I'm from. We don't do fake syrup. We don't do blueberry syrup. We do real Vermont maple syrup. 100% pure. Oh, my God. I'm from New England, man. Come on now. You don't, you don't, you don't try other stuff? It's gross. And Jemima, all that with fake you? stuff's nasty. Oh, gosh. No, I won't do pancakes, and I won't do waffles unless you've got pure. What? Can't do it. 100%. Got to be 100% really? pure. Won't do it. Nope. Refuse. Man, oh, man. Sonic asks a good question. Does the old content stay at the old place when we move? Yes. Okay. Yes, all right. it's all new. We don't have – as of February 1st, the Bostonian versus the book, everything is ours. But everything pre February first is theirs. Mm, we got guys for that. <laughs> I don't particularly want to get into any. Articles. I don't want to get into it either. I'm just saying, if anybody knows anything, you we have access me. to. We have the ability to use whatever we want. So if we have something we want to pull out from the archives, Ferris got a full hard drive of a year's worth My of man. shows. So oh, we're man. all good. We if we want to use it, we have access to use it. We want to Let's put those shows. I'm yeah. just not going to make Matt upload 400 shows <laughs> you, don't to, to, you don't have to do 400 but he got he got the good stuff yeah. bradley martin before we move on just came yes. in and said bvb is quickly becoming the highlight of my day let's go fellas appreciate it my stuff friend. we're doing here how about the boys keeping track of the, what number of subscriber they are 
to that was awesome yesterday. Was great. We did we did uh, sixty two subscribers in the first hour that the YouTube channel went live, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. So, like in a year or two, when that whole thing, like they're going to be like, "Hey, I was the number three subscriber." We're going to have to oh, yeah. people like bricks, like they they were the, they were doing one, two, books. three, four. Like there was a roll call going on the Discord channel yeah. as to who yeah. had who had signed up to be. I'm ten. I'm fifteen. I'm twenty five. Like they were calling out their numbers, subscribers. They were. I was number one, I believe. Oh. So, I got the number one option on it. By the way, so the winner. I have not heard back from this person. Uh, oh, so Daniel Higgis won our bull pick him contest. Daniel Higgis. I don't know how I'm saying, that, but he's at D H E I G E S one big brain plays is his moniker on Twitter. Big brain plays. That's his moniker. On Twitter. But he won <laughs> spice. Daddy was his name. spice. The daddy brain. won the 30 minutes with you and me. <laughs> So I've made, oh. I, I've been, he, he won our bowl pick him contest and he won the 30 minutes with us and I've Come offered it because show, BBP. Well, next week is the time we're going to do it because it's the dead week. We, we already, we always already planned it saying the week between the championship games and the Super Bowl, the pro bowl mm. lead up was the day we were going to put the person on for 30 minutes. So I've made it available for him. So just let you guys know if you're like, what the hell happened with the bowl pick him contest? That was the grand prize. You win the contest. You get 30 minutes on the air with us. So I've made it available to Daniel. He's not answered me yet. If he says yes, he wants to come in, then come on in. If if uh, if he don't get the message, or if he don't want to come on, he could defer it to someone else. Yes. If they'd like. Well, I'll go. Like, I'll go number two. You he don't have no. to do thirty minutes. Like I mean, listen, we take it for granted that we get on here and talk, and which we do. If you're new to the show, we're usually good for an hour forty-five. No commercials, no breaks. We just roll. Kazoo, producer Matt Fair will pop in over our shoulders. We bring in the graphics right here. It's all right here. Yep. By the way, yesterday's number on the like button was 29 and a half, completely obliterated that. 79 at last count when Dang. I checked it. I was like, wow, I was really wrong about the number. Sometimes you're wrong about the number. That's fine. <laughs> but if you don't want to come off for 30 minutes, Daniel, BBP, you could come off for five. Like what, right. there's no pressure. No, you know, we mean we, that's yeah. the longest you can stay. That's listen. Some people want to come on and never want to leave. Correct. That's what the fear is. <laughs> we, <laughs> so we have, you can't do that. We need a parameters. Okay. We got to keep you inside of a certain box. We need a top. Yes. The bottom is the minimum. That just like in a sports book, we could tell yeah. you what the minimum is you could bet, but we got to put a top because every, yeah. you know, some people will just abuse the system. So, <laughs> You're limited. Minutes. Daniel, you're limited minutes. to 30 minutes that's that's your limit minutes. uh do you have any problem with the bengals players now referring to arrowhead stadium as burrowhead <laughs> other than me giggling every time they <laughs> say burrowhead because i'm thinking of something else Correct. i i can't help it and um no i i don't i want if my guy's walking like that don't you think that makes the guys behind them walk a little bit too? Hundred percent. Like when you get a pitcher in a baseball going out there and just flipping a ball and throwing a hundred, you're walking out to third base to play the like. Let's go. Everybody should be like that. So no, Burrowhead. I mean, that's. Do you like it? I love it. I love. I it. love it, but it's I insulting it. as hell. I love it. Is it insulting? Chief fans are Charmin soft. They are such about this type of stuff. This Ooh. gets under their skin so badly. This Man. is talk radio fodder. This is the entire market. The insecurity of that market is so easily pricked. You just got to get a little tiny ding and they go crazy. Like nuts, nuts. Is that just a Midwest thing? Or no, that, it's a, like, the Kansas City thing. Because they people, think that they're and I will get a little bit upset. I mean, Bromel Camp doesn't. Bromel Camp's here in the chat. No, he Iowa people are generally good, but they get a little bit, they get a little bit uh eh. if you Chicago. talk about like if you were to call like Kinnick Stadium, if you were to rename Kinnick, if you were an Ohio State fan oh, and like you are Ohio State player and you were you know, like you, you renamed it something for your player, yeah. yeah I was Iowa fans would freak out. Hundred percent they'd freak out. KC fans, yeah, a little bit like you know, they get sensitive. The zing is the zing zing, like the back. They don't, you gotta, they don't go back with it, they go with anger, exactly. 
yeah, there's no back and forth. There's straight anger that will be like, you know, you could be like razzing them and it turns into like, you know, 10, for it. fuck you. <laughs> like it just goes right. from zero to, it goes from zero to a hundred. Like there's no oh, in the between. <laughs> there's no like, let's have some fun going back and forth and just like jostling each other and having some fun with each other. There's none of that. <laughs> right, it's right, like right, right. you right. say Burrowhead and they come with a shotgun. <laughs> like it's no back and forth. So they're going to be mad, mad. if Mad, mad. I mean, I mean, this is, this is frothing at the mouth type mad. They're going to be there drinking. Like the two fan bases that are going to be both at home are going to be so drunk and so crazy. Arrowhead Stadium and the link are going to be just places that if you're part of the fan base, you would love it. If you're a rival fan base, go armed because you're going to need Oh, them. don't call for <laughs> violence, please. Don't blame it on the protection. gambling and then we'll get canceled. Please. Right. But protection. Please. I'm not talking about violence. I'm just saying you might need protection. Like it's going to be a dangerous place to wear. If you're wearing a Niners jersey, and or a Bengals Burrow jersey in Arrowhead or at the link. Yeah. <laughs> you are asking for whatever comes back at you. You are walking into an absolute hornet's nest. They are not going to be taking it quietly. They are not going to be silent. You're going to hear it. You're going to get cat called the entire game. Nope. <laughs> I would not recommend doing that. Okay. This is a Santa Claus getting booed type of crowd on both in, in both buildings coming at you wow. hard hmm. so both starting running backs for the Niners did not practice yesterday any concerns it's Wednesday yeah the pros they, they, they I mean the running backs the quarterback sometimes they don't practice on Wednesdays it's I mean, fine McCaffrey I mean, was much, definitely much do about nothing for me how about you McCaffrey's real McCaffrey's what? injured. McCaffrey on the sidelines was stretching out his calf slash Achilles consistently. He's got a legitimate calf injury. McCaffrey's injury is legit. I think I'm I'm not worried about Mitchell. Hold I'm not worried about Debo. Hold on. What I am worried about McCaffrey. Hold on. Yes. Put the glasses on. Dr. Perot. What the fuck are you talking about? He's hurt. Did you watch the game? Yes. You didn't see McCaffrey stretching his calf out consistently, trying to keep the thing warm, putting a heating pad on it the entire game. Matthew, I do that just sitting here listening to you sometimes. <laughs> You're a 51 year old, 52 year old. Get it right. 52 year old. This is a Damn. dude getting tackled by 300 pound men. He's always stretching, though. He's always dinged up. He's, He's always, always hurt. Always got something going on. He's always hurt. So, just are you coming to the Philly side with this move or what? What are you talking about here? What are you I saying? I told you that. I told you that on Monday. You asked me right now, what's your Super Bowl? I said, Philadelphia. I think I'm going to be cheering for the Niners, but I think the Eagles are going to win. Whoa. I think Brock Purdy is going to play like a rookie. Mm. This is the game. I want, I'm going to tease the Niners up, but I want, I, I mean, I, I would be very surprised to see. It would be awesome. I want the 49ers in the Super Bowl. Just don't Whoa. think. I think you're asking Purdy to go to the link into that building. We've seen him play big games all at home. Different world on the road. Different world on the East Coast on the road. I have a dear friend, a very, very dear friend. I've known him for 42 years. Wow. He's uh, he's Moses. That's his, that's his name. Okay. He's the barber. Moses taught me more about life. Always been like that older brother to me that I never had. Started cutting my hair when I was 10 years old. Wow. And, and um, this is the result. So, <laughs> I mean, he's a good barber. He's a good guy. He's older than me and everything, but this is what happens if Moses cuts your hair. All right. But I just got a tremendous text from him All and right. he's a little older. He's in his sixties. We don't disclose his age, okay. um, but he's, he loves the show. And hmm. uh, I just got one of the best text messages ever from him. And I told him I would say this, but I'm saving it for my best thing about today because I got now two things. Best thing about today, which we do every day at the end of the show puts you guys in a good mood. It puts us in a good mood. It's a moment to reflect on something. It doesn't have to be about sports or betting, mm -hmm. and neither does this show, which mm -hmm. is part of what we do as well. Go ahead. Sorry. To, Are you going to read the text or no? Nope. That's the best oh, okay. thing about today. <laughs> okay. <the> <laughs> thing about today. All right. So it's well, me today. He wants me to read it. That's why I'm oh. not doing it because he got me. He got me. Okay. It's okay. He got All me. All right. 
So we'll do that. This is later. a man that pulled my pants down after I got a haircut. You know, we're like children, right? So we're standing on the sidewalk and I'm getting ready to cross the street. He come out of the shop and I'm looking down here and he pulled my shorts down right on the sidewalk, right in front of his shop. I was like 28. Like this is like when we're older. Like this he is not when we're you at 28. <laughs> yeah. Got me good. Got me good. good. I don't right. forget. I'll get you, Mark. I see you coming. <laughs> Can you make a case for the over between the Eagles and the Niners at 46 and a half? Oh, this is a good question. This is a good question because I was adamant for the game between the Niners and the Cowboys that it was under. And everybody kept coming like, Dave, lines moving up, the Sharps, all the pros, the Rhombus is a parallelograms. Everybody's on over. Didn't make any sense. It. I don't see it. No. I see Not the, the Niners defense in the, in the Cowboys defense too, man. Oh man. I mean, sometimes you can be Mr. Contrarian, but when you have the number two and number seven scoring defenses in the, or number one, and number seven scoring defense, sorry, number one and seven scoring defenses in the NFL playing each other, you probably should take the under and they faded it all and said, game's going to fly over. Nope. Game was I nine, know. nine at the first, I, half, I, after, I, after the first I, half. I, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Um, I like the under. I'm sticking it just like I did last week. The under makes the most sense. If the Niners are going to be in the – if the over hits, the Niners are dead. Eagles kill them. The over hits – hold on. This is like the Pythagorean theorem. If the over hits, the Niners are dead. Why? They can't win 34-31? Uh-uh. Not against that defense. Brock Purdy's dropping back, throwing the ball 30, 35 times. He's going to be sacked 10 times. Oh, this Eagles defense, nobody is willing to really dive down deep and have a conversation about the Bengals defense and the Eagles defense. Everyone's so transfixed on Jalen Hurts and Joe Burrow. They're forgetting what's on the other side. And on the other side are two really good defenses. Mm. And the Eagles mm. get after the quarterback in a big way with multiple people. And we saw that Dallas got after Brock, got after Brock Purdy. Got to him a couple of times, but this is an even better defense with a better pass rush. At home, pin your ears back. This is a shootout game. If they're in third and sevens, third and nines, bad news for that Niners offense. I, this is this is uh, this is good. I mean, it's Thursday. It's mm -hmm. still three more days to the game. Okay. Do you have? Mental exhaustion, thinking about it and talk like I just want to play the game tomorrow. No, I love this. I mean, I like breaking this down. I, I, I have mental exhaustion talking about the Super Bowl for two weeks. That's when I get mental exhaustion. Right. But but not these games. No, the, these games are the I love championship weekend. I think it's super fun because it's the last time we see the home crowds and the last time we see inclement weather. Mm. And it's not this plastic, you know, in a bubble football game that we see for the Super Bowl. We get a real fun, typical, you know, predictable type of game. That's why I love these games. But I just, Philadelphia, I, again, I want the Niners to win the game. I'm going in there, you know, right. go San Francisco. It's just this Philly team is built. I want to see Joe Burrow against this Philly team. We're probably going to see KC Philadelphia, so we're probably going to see <laughs> home teams 14 and four straight up over the last nine years, like we've talked about. I think we're seeing. Home I wouldn't. Like I mean, I wouldn't advance that so easily. I, I, I don't. I don't think so. I think this is a perfect nobody knows shit week. Like, oh yeah, hell back yeah, back and forth and back and forth. Speaking of nobody knowing shit, yes, Carmine and Big Rob were here. Okay, from Canada yep. last week, right? We had a dinner at. Uh, we saw uh -huh. uh, what's her name, Flex Tuesday woman bartender. Flex she took the whole thing. Yeah, well, Flex Tuesday? What? Flex Tuesday. When I go on Wager Talk every week, it's Flex, it's flex Tuesday because Prez likes to flex his muscles and stuff. So I, I went back at him once and I went like this. It's Flex Tuesday. They made a gift. The whole thing took off. Anyhow, they had to fly back. Okay. And it's freezing everywhere else. And we've been bitching about freezing the here. wearing a jacket. It's 37 degrees every morning here. It's cold, but there ain't no snow. Yeah, my favorite thing about today is is, is is in is in reference to that. Yeah. So listen, Vegas is great. There's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad. One thing there is not any of most of the time is snow and bitching about the snow. 
Right. Rob's coming in. He's texting me right now. to sending me pictures of the house. You don't have to deal with this shit. Blah, 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 blah. Unless you're on Mount Charleston. I looked at the snow. I got a great picture of it. <laughs> you wait till you see. I'm going to post it. It's amazing. There's going to be snow right outside of my door. I can take a look to my right. And there's a, there's, you can covered. see covered. Huge. It's going to be covered. there till June. That snow eh, will be no. there. I'm telling you, that white is there a long time. It'll be there till April 1st. If it rains on Sunday in Philadelphia, yes. and as that show, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, that's bullshit, too. It ain't always <laughs> Do sunny. That, yeah. Does the weather affect your handicap? And no. we've talked about this many times. Got to be windy. Mm -hmm. But if it's no. sloppy. It, it, I mean, helps you, it helps you under. But it doesn't necessarily. No, I think it goes. I think it helps the over. There's turnovers in the wet. Maybe. Sometimes. Sometimes not. Sometimes they just run the ball. They play conservatively. They don't throw the ball. My gut would tell me that if it is raining and sloppy like that, that Kyle Shanahan goes into a shell and his offense becomes just run, 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 run. And he's not going to let Purdy beat him. But McCaffrey didn't practice. Correct. Well, yeah, but they he's got like, I mean. Guy. I know, but other, I can't remember his name. Elijah Mitchell didn't practice either, but Debo can run the ball. Elijah Debo. Mitchell can run the ball. Like they got other options. Shelby so, was her name. Shelby's the bartender's name down at Barry's uh, at Circa. Ooh, definitely go down and say hello hell of to a her. meal. Barry's is a great meal. That's a Barry's good is meal. a good meal. It's a good yeah. atmosphere. It's nice. Good atmosphere. Good meal. Yeah. Circa a good place that. for a meet and greet someday. Oh, right in one of those back rooms. Oh, oh, I got some nice back rooms in berries. <laughs> All right. Got nice to speak my language. Rob here. about that. Man. Speaking, talking my language now. All right. Oh, wow. Let's get, get Barry to a little table side cooking for us. Might be fun oh, to go ahead and jump in on that. No, rain does not make me feel like it goes one way or the other. Are you going to talk about the snow and the best thing about today, like that other people got that we don't got? No. Okay. All right. Something that Madeline said that something that Madeline said this morning about the weather that made me laugh really loud. <laughs> and, I, and, and, okay. and I and I and I told her, "Go, oh, that's be my favorite thing about today." <laughs> I so, do that. Did did she get mad when you say that? No, because she was allowed to say a word she wasn't allowed to say. So 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 she just uh, I turned around and went, Wait, "What did oh. you just say?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> I started I started I started laughing because it was I was. Oh, he just closed the tab on himself. Do you believe this? His camera went, closed the tab on himself. Now I got free rain. You know why I'm wearing the lightning stuff, don't you, Kazoo? You know why, people? Because they're playing the Bruins, and he's going to come on and talk about the Bruins and winning all this stuff. So Hello. I, I didn't do anything. Oh, just throw okay. me out. Just all right. Out. So Woo! I'm back. Right. Um, but she said, Do you hear anything I said? I heard something about, do you ever let the kids? And then I went away. Oh, okay. Perfect. Good. Pick it right back up where you're at. What'd you say? Nothing. I was okay. waiting for you to come back. Okay. I thought okay. you closed the tab. I thought no, you it hit a tab. It just took me out. Another tab. Like, get out. <laughs> so it threw me out. Um, you know, she just had a word in reference to weather that we'll get to later and fair thing about today. So we'll talk about that then. Okay. So the New York Jets have hired Nathaniel Hackett as their offensive coordinator. The Jets have hired Nathaniel Hackett. So Nathaniel Hackett took his first head coaching job in Denver, went, and I'm, I mean, I'm not a coaching guy. I'm not yeah. an NFL personnel guy, but I don't think it went <laughs> well. as well as it could have. Let's just say if that was my first foray into it, I might dare say I fucked it up. Okay. If that was me, I fucked it up. I didn't know what I was doing. I fucked it up. So everyone is saying, now, you know, he it's was handed a game. raw hand with, it was a bad offense, Russell Wilson. And I keep on going back to this idea of like the weapons he had to work with. Like we as Patriot fans ripped on Matt Patricia, like crazy, but the whiteouts that the night that, that the Broncos got to work with the Hackett got to work with, it's and he good. still couldn't get the football into their hands. He still couldn't move the ball. But I was, he ain't throwing the ball. Don't forget it's Russell. Okay, but if you're an offensive mastermind, don't you have to figure out a way to use your whatever your quarterback can do? You figure it out in practice, and then you call the plays that will help your quarterback be the most successful. You can't that's, do round peg, square hole type stuff. That's the job. Actually, right. what you just said is the first part is the job. <laughs> and like, he sucked at it. <laughs> he was so he horrible a, at it. 
He got a promotion or he got an alternative job from that. That well, he got to go from Denver from Denver to go coach a different Wilson. This time it's Zach Wilson for Nathaniel Hackett to go and coach because that's the quarterback currently of the New York Jets. Come on, man. Unless we're going to go ahead and go full farve. Is Aaron Rodgers going full farve? What in the hell is going on? So Woody Johnson, the owner of the Jets, has made it known that he would be comfortable giving up two first round picks, what the Jets have, yeah, to go and trade for Aaron Rodgers. Nathaniel Hackett, everyone says there's such a big connection there, right? You, hey, the Broncos thought they were getting Rodgers in Denver. That's why they hired Hackett, why they fired him after a year when they realized, oh my gosh, we gave Russell Wilson all this money. It's not going to work. We're in deep trouble. This guy can't coach. Get out of here. So now he goes to run an offense, which supposedly he knows what he's doing. But everyone says, well, Hackett in Green Bay was great. Hackett in Denver sucked. Could it have been Matt LaFleur? Is anybody willing to give Matt LaFleur any credit for the offense and that Hackett might just be trading on LaFleur's offense? I don't this I don't know. You're 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 you know, I've been accused of being a pot stirrer and a shit shaker and all that other stuff you sound like you're shaking the pot here a little bit you're you're stirring it a little bit i'm just saying just Hackett saying. is everyone's saying that rogers and the hackett success is why aaron Rodgers wants to go to the jets now and i just kind of go he's gonna copy Favre this badly he's gonna go and play for oh, the jets like Favre did. he's not copying Favre. he's doing what he wants Listen. so why is he going to new york jets why would Roger. he go to the- Raji does what he wants. Raji, Aaron Rodgers to... never played in a market with a real media. Oh, oh, oh. He hasn't. Oh, oh. He hasn't. Just do. Aaron Rodgers is allowed to go on Pat's oh, show. Hold on. Aaron Rodgers is allowed to go on Pat's show because Aaron Rodgers doesn't want to talk to the Milwaukee media. Aaron Rodgers doesn't want to do that. He's afraid he of the Milwaukee media. He's not afraid of it. He doesn't do anything for him. He's just like, eh, whatever. He doesn't, he can what does the on. local media do for most people? In New York City, a lot. It does? It sells you a lot of things. You just being buys on the back, you some ammunition and some time, but they all You go on the back theory, pages, you make a lot of money in New York. If you're successful in New York, you get a lot of opportunities. You become a household name. Speaking you of become, opportunities, yeah. uh, our friend, um, I can't remember which, uh, which code word to use for the guy. Um, Huh? I think we'll use him Butchie or, or 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 less or whatever whatever name he wants to use. He just came in and said, if the bowl winner doesn't want to do the show for 30 minutes, he's proposing that you have to eat pancakes and waffles for 30 minutes with blueberry syrup. Oh, it's easy. I can do that. No sweat. Do you don't like blood. blueberry syrup. Yeah, but I can eat it. It's gross, but I can, I'm, not, I'm not disgusted by it. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. I, I would. Yeah. I mean, I could. Pancakes and waffles are. In, arguably to on my, my list of like favorite things to eat. So I would eat them without syrup. I'd eat them with fake syrup. Like I can figure I could eat. It's not like I'm like gagging as I'm eating fake syrup. I just would strongly like to not have to do that, but okay. I would easily do it. I could kill. I mean, you know, all that whole fantasy football thing where they stick you in the waffle house and you, you get it for 24 hours and you got to eat one pancake. Every pancake you eat knocks off an hour of time. Okay. You ever hear that? I, 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 now that you said it, I have, yes. Yes, people come in last place. Whoever finishes in last place. Matthew Friedman went down to the Waffle House to raise money for a children's hospital in Texas and did this. And everyone was like, it's really hard. I'd be like, I could easily knock down 10 pancakes and knock off 10 hours of my time. Easy. Like, is, I think that's the number. Like, if you don't eat 10, what's wrong with you? Like, I, could what crush is, 10, I could crush 10 pancakes. So over the course of 24 hours, if Who that's could? all... Yeah, I could crush it. Waffles, I could at night, like 15, 20 waffles. The waffles got to be done right. But the pancakes, man, that's easy. Yeah, I crush them. Not even a question. Knock them down. Be done with them. I Look love in the chat, waffles. people. How many pancakes could you eat if you had to eat in a Waffle House for 24 hours? I ain't staying more than eight. I can tell you that. I ain't staying you more eat than 16, eight hours. You could eat 16 pancakes? That's pretty good. Well, I mean, I might take a nap. I might <laughs> eat 10 and fall asleep in the booth. Right. And then wake up. Yeah. Punch out. Eat six more. Give me have you ever gone to Waffle House? Get the fuck out of here. Let's have go. Gone, have you gone to Waffle House? Waffle House. Yes. Oh, you've never oh, gone to Waffle House. Down south. <laughs> I only been there one time. Okay, I didn't we feel we will break your cherry on this. We will go to uh, Waffle House at some point. We will uh, go to a casino. We'll go gambling. And then when we're done, 
we will go end the night at Waffle House so you can see the creatures I, that exist inside. See, this is what I'm talking about. I told you about my drive in the summer or the, the winter of 93, the storm of the century. Uh -huh. I drove from Penn State to Philadelphia, stayed overnight with Norm and Mikey, who has since passed. Uh, God bless, rest his soul. We drove down, straight down to Florida to stay at Norm's grandparents' place because this is what you know, they did back then. They had a play. Right. Everybody had a place, yeah, of course. Florida. Yes. We needed a place to sleep cheap. We went there. Yeah. Went to spring training games and all this stuff. Oh, nice. We stopped one time in Georgia to get gas, and they had pickled pig's feet or something yes. at the register. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Big said, used jar. I said, yeah, in a big jar. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the northern hemisphere above the Mason Dixon line and out west and all places I had been, they got gum. They got bints. No, they the had register. pig's feet. Yeah, full. They have full. My realization that I was not in anywhere near my home anymore was the fact that people would eat full, full on meals in gas stations. Just picking it, just grab it, just pick it up. Oh, right yeah. I, was like, no, what I mean, like, Iowa food? has legendary pizza in their gas stations. Like, this is what everybody in Iowa will tell you that their, their gas station pizza is the best. People in Nebraska, full on like barbecue in the South full meals like just absolute i've seen buffets in in gas stations people have, i'm like this is disgusting guys you know this is nasty right oh they, they, they go and crush it like it's nothing they absolutely it's love it nothing yep when i said i asked the gentleman behind the counter what are those and he said pickles pit your and he said yeah. it with a little bit of draw right he goes y'all aren't from around here are you <laughs> <laughs> i said no sir no sir keep the change <laughs> no sir i went outside i said get the gas and let's get the fuck out of here said, oh hell yeah talking about? i oh, said yeah. i don't i don't know where we're at but i don't want to i don't like it we stopped at a waffle house in the northern part of florida oh nice i believe like i told you that's the redneck riviera oh that's the right red, that's listen the i like to give you shit <laughs> but whoa yeah and i was like we got to go again. And we had beat the weather. So we were did good. You I wasn't there. Going. You did not even go in. No, no, no. We ate. We ate. Oh, you, so you have gone to Waffle House. You have it gone to it. Good. No. The, the food. Listen, we were college no. kids. It was, okay, it was like fine. gourmet. We needed to eat and go. There's a place in Pittsburgh called Eaton Park. Brother Dan is in the chat. Brother Dan, how are you, sir? I love you. I miss Eaton you. Park. Got to talk to you about the whole trip to Arizona. He just, oh, yeah. He's very busy, too. But there's a place called Eaton Park. You people from Pittsburgh know what I'm talking about. It used to be a drive-up place, and that's Isn't turned like into a go? Go hour place. <laughs> Which is still the most ridiculous name for a gas station ever. Eaton Park? No, come and go. Come. Hold on. <laughs> what? This is... <laughs> I, swear to you, I swear on my this life, is, it's, it's real. called what? <laughs> I swear on my life, it's real. It's called come and go. I swear to God. I swear on my life. <laughs> the show's over. That's it. <laughs> It's with a K, though. It's spelled with a K. What? Yes, I swear. Oh, There's ads they everywhere, all over, all over the Midwest. To get around, it. come and, and go. All, yep. Go to go to the come and go. The what? I, got, <laughs> I stopped, first time I heard that. Stopped dead in my tracks, and I went, "Wait, what did you just say?" Yeah, it's the come and go. What do you mean it's the come and go? There's come and goes everywhere. What are you talking about? It's come and goes everywhere. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. All right. Uh, somebody so in a brigade. Oh. <laughs> yes, they will all Same. confirm it. The, our Midwest people will confirm it. I swear it on my please, life. Please, 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 please. Go take a picture. All right. I go to the books and take picture time from the book. Can you please go take a picture at the gas station today? Of the come and go? Oh, of the hell come yeah. and go. You're going to get so, like tag us bang. on the Twitter, oh. please, at Sports BK and Sing, at Sports Talk Matt. Tag the show at Boston versus the book. <laughs> Please, it's not a call to action. No, and if it is, we can say it. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. You can't put it up on the thing. God damn, roll call Friday is going to be amazing. <laughs> oh my god, B. How just chimed in. B. How just said, Eaton Park at two a.m. What did he? Say? I got to read this oh. right. Eaton Park at two a.m. after a night out is unrivaled. He's absolutely right. It's open twenty four hours. Breakfast yep. is served twenty four hours, like the Waffle House. Yeah. Just it's just it's the northern version or the Pittsburgh version of the Waffle House. See, I go to bat and I'll go to war for um I love breakfast any time of the day. 
So yeah. you take me to a Cracker Barrel, Cracker Barrel, nothing beats Cracker Barrel. Nothing beats Cracker Barrel? Cracker Barrel is the, that is the, for me, breakfast oh, places bro. in the South. Really? Oh, man. Oh, unbelievable. You like here. it that much? Once a month. I go, go here. You do? Down my South Point. Oh, yeah. It's unbelievable. It's so good. It's on the road. It's the best. Like, I will drive miles out of the way to go eat there. I avoid Waffle House at all costs. I will hopefully never have to eat there ever again. It is so what did bad. We do it just come and go. I can't even believe it. Now I'm getting texts from <laughs> getting texts from from Les. The, the, oh my goodness, what is happening right it's now? It's real. It's a hundred percent real. It's a it's and they have full meals in that all ready. over Oklahoma. You eat at the come and go? Oh yeah, they have full pizzas. That's where like the buffets are. Oh yeah, come and goes are a big deal, man. I'm telling you, that's a I I I went. <laughs> what? Where are we going? And where? What? Listen, my guy who's who's taking care of the book and all this other stuff, he just sent me a text and said he's going to open, came and went. <laughs> Forget about come and go. Came and went. He should. <laughs> It'll be good. Why not? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I can't see it's right too now. Easy. Too it's, too it's too easy. It's too easy. It's too <laughs> easy. It, it, <laughs> oh, came and went. Come and go. How do you spell it, though? That's a question, right? Because they spell it K-U-M. Come and go. <laughs> It's like, wait, what did you just say? Yes, it's a real wait, place. They took the E off the come to. <laughs> oh, K U M. Come and go. <laughs> Sorry. Go Google it. Go get their website logo. Oh, it's 100% real. Oh, Addison, come and go. We will fill you up. Yep. I, I it's a, it's, the jokes write themselves. All <sighs> right. So we have talked a lot about this over the last couple of years. And yeah. this is a problem for the NBA. So this kid went viral last night because he traveled 4,000 miles to watch Jimmy Butler play for the Miami Heat against the Boston Celtics. Jimmy Butler, about 15 minutes before the game was supposed to start, Jimmy Butler says, I'm not playing because my back. Right? He just says, uh, I don't want to play. Can't I'm not play. Playing. Boston rested pretty much everybody. <laughs> I mean, like they for the starting five rested last night right. for Boston. Yeah. Jimmy Butler checked out. Boston loses the game by three. Boston covers, like you had mentioned, you like Boston to cover the four and a half. They lost, but they covered right. last night. This is a problem for the for the NBA. Is it not that when it comes to betting on the NBA, when it comes to watching, and it comes to taking your kids, it's becoming a bigger and bigger problem. And I think gambling is just so, like, kind of put a bigger spotlight on these players who are determined to not play 82 games. Sorry, I'm going to try to stay focused, but <laughs> our guy Bromwell Camp just sent a rewards card from the come and go. Told you, <laughs> I told you. Yes, re- <laughs> I'm not. I'm not lying. He has a rewards card, <laughs> and it's spelled the way that I told you how it was spelled. Just, just like you said, K- K-U-M, big and for saying G-O. I mean, this is amazing. I, I listen. Welcome to America, we got to figure out the deal, whatever it is, with, with, with Bromwell Camp if. You know, if the relationship ends that way, we're still, I'm still going to keep in touch with Brom. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm going to Iowa at some yeah. point and oh, yeah. playing catcher with him or, or B. Howe or something. I don't know yet. Um, Iowa Penn State football. This has been a problem for years now when they started this bullshit. Okay. With the load management. Chuck can say it, right? Uh, and he well, put, did. Yeah. Put the kid up first, because I think the, the 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 picture of the kid, like, well, hey, this poor kid looked like he, his dog just died. He did. He was. I mean, listen, he's he's got the gear on. He's ready to go. He likes Jimmy Butler. He probably got the tickets. It's a big deal. It's not like you can go to another game, right? Like <laughs> a lot kid. of times, it's one. You get one shot. He shot with four thousand miles. He's a West Coast kid coming into Miami to watch Jimmy Butler play. Yeah, and he finds out right before the game. By the way, Jimmy Butler is not playing. Like this picture should, like, I don't know. I don't want to oversell it, but like, if you're the NBA, this is like, uh oh, time when you see these pictures going viral. The problem is if it's really a back problem and it's a real thing, then it is an issue. It's not an issue. Like, it's a, you're but right. like, I think the players have pushed the envelope too far to use the load management thing or to say that this and that, I'm not playing. It used to be a badge of honor to play 75 of 82 games. It was expected. Yes. Your teammates expected you to play. 
let alone the guy writing the checks and the general manager to put together the team. Now it's accepted, just like striking out in baseball. Nobody gives a shit anymore about striking out in baseball. It used to be a pride thing. I don't want to strike out. I wanted to play. A little bit different, like with the hockey guys. It's a different culture. They're looking to play. Right. And so Charles Barkley is going to sound like the old man yelling at the wind. Yeah. Get off my lawn. Yeah. But he goes on Sirius XM and says, I cannot wait for these owners to put their foot in their blank, talking about the players, when it comes to the contract negotiations. Wait, and you can't say ass now? What did you oh, just go blank for? All right, fine. All I'm right. Just, just, you know, trying to keep Ferris' job, you know, help him. Fair. Help him. Fair. Fair. Right. But when you look at the number of players who have determined to either load management or taking nights off, or I don't need to play, I don't want to play, you never know, right? Because you can't go to a guy and say, you're playing tonight. I don't care if you're hurt or not. So they can say they're not playing, but there's not this, like, it's my job. Like if we right. decided like right. we were going to do a show on Tuesday and then like, you know, maybe Thursday and then, you know, maybe the next Monday, potentially people need consistency when they turn on the TV or they go to a game and they buy a ticket to go to the Miami heat. They want to watch the best fucking players in the Miami Heat. Like it, it's it's annoying when you see 41 games and That's kids go to one, two, three games max, and they want to watch their best player. Yes. And they gotta go and check the box score or the Twitter to figure out whether or not the guy's playing or not. Oh, by the way, he's gonna opt out 15 minutes before the game. And so you can't even sit there and go, well, if you found out beforehand, you sell your tickets and go to a different game. 15 minutes, you've parked, you've paid, you're there, you're physically waiting. And then you got to tell your son, daughter, whatever, hey, by the way, the person you want to watch, not going to be here. It's a good lesson in life, isn't it? Like where you go, all right, one, you got to be careful what you pay for, right? And Fair. because you're not getting maybe what was advertised, mm -hmm. you're getting an experience. The answer from the owners and the teams is like, look, you buy a ticket to the game. You get a ticket to the game. They don't even tell you who's playing sometimes. And they tell you who's not playing 15 minutes before. After you've paid a C note a ticket, 50 for parking, you've got a nice set of refreshments. C note, that's like that's, but yeah, that's that's a means, cheap ticket. That's a, right. You got to sit up really high. Anywhere decent. A ticket. 150, 210, 220 right. face. Exactly. Yeah. It's dumb. And the ticket fees, don't forget the ticket oh, fees. Yeah. Yeah. There's a fee for getting a ticket where you right. used to be just go to the window and buy the <laughs> ticket and tell me what it costs. Uh -huh. Now there's fees, just like these bullshit resort fees here in Vegas. You come to get a room and they tell you it's oh, it's 35 for the pool. It's January and it's 37 swim. outside. I ain't going to the pool. <laughs> we don't care. Yeah. We get the Wi-Fi too. Well, the Wi-Fi was free. What the fuck are you talking? What's the 35 for? So you get the fees, you get all that stuff. But I mean to circle it back to the gambling. You can see what's happening with the NBA. People in the chat are talking about them losing fans. Yeah. They're losing people betting on it too. Yep. You can't, you can't even, you find out, this used to drive me crazy, probably contributed to my stroke towards the end. I was so mm -hmm. aggravated booking the NBA because it was like, wait a second, somebody knew before me that Jimmy Butler wasn't playing and they took four and a half in a game or whoa, move it. You know, it's not, I don't think it's fair to anybody. It's definitely not fair to the kids. And we always talk about the kids. No, they're not interested in the NBA. Hmm. Well, I'll Wonder say why. this as someone who bets every night and bets overnight, I don't play with the NBA. I, 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 I don't want to no do anything with it because it's such a roll of the dice to wake up in the morning because the number might be completely, and I mean like four to five points different than the number I played overnight. Right. And so, and that's on totals and on sides. And that level of movement makes it next to impossible to have a fair handicap for people who are going to get up in the morning. I'm betting at 10 PM Pacific time. That's 1 a.m. Eastern. People on the East Coast are going to wake up, listen to the podcast, and it's going to be 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. on the East Coast, and the number and has gone from four to nine. 
Right. Oh, I, hey, I, I'm laying four. Oh, by the way, it's now it's nine. That's great. Or the other way around where it's, Hey, it's, you know, you're catching four. Now you're catching nine. You're like, Oh, wait, what? You, yeah. you know, you're, you're totally screwed. The total has gone from two forty to two, you know, 25 or two forty to two fifty. Like it's, mm. it's just, the movement is so dramatic and so yep. crazy that as a better, if, if the NBA is thinking that, you know, gambling, eyes are going to help them in their contract negotiations in the next wave for tv and streaming services they got to figure this out because the numbers with athletes that are stars in basketball it's the most dramatic you take lebron james off the court lakers are a totally different team so like your star players all your numbers you can't say i ah, wait till the playoffs you play an 82 game season you play for six months mm. it's really problematic so, I mean, TNT, yeah. ESPN, all your nationwide national broadcasters. Oh, yeah, the guys will play for those games. But your Wednesday night Miami-Boston game not being shown anywhere, yeah, everyone's going to cop out and say we're not going to play in that game. It's just, it's, it's just, it's a shame because when it's played with the best teams, with the best guys, you get Golden State Memphis last night. You <laughs> get great, I mean, like engaged I'm watching it. I, I they're trading blows. I got Steph an arm. Got ejected. Threw his mouthpiece towards the bench, and I guess you can't throw your mouthpiece no. in disgust at your teammate. You didn't even throw it at anybody. He's been tossed out before for doing the exact same thing. Okay, he knows he's not supposed to do it. Yeah, well, but okay. with one to pl- one minute to play in the game, though, whoa. I mean, uh, you know, the referees are just. You know, they're there. They're there. They're, 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 they're sometimes a Memphis very big covered. Game. Anyhow, Memphis covered. Yes. <laughs> Memphis covered. <laughs> Memphis covered. They did. Warriors Just by two. Hatch. Memphis yeah. covered. Best yeah. scenario for the books. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Somehow it stayed <laughs> under. We Some had of the other people sweating that under. I was getting some tweets late uh, last night. People needed that under for the last leg. Whitrock just came in and said this NBA is basically unbettable except for in game. Agree or disagree? Fair. Agreed. That's that, that, that's what I was going to pop in and say. I mean, we talked about it yesterday, the NBA totals just being unpredictable and out of whack. That, um, <clears throat> what was it, the the, the Nets game? Uh, yeah, in 76ers. Like it's, 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 yeah, before it started, it was at, it was like 224 was the total. The game yeah, ended at, two, at 270. 270. It's like, 270. It's like a 45 point yeah. difference. Yeah, yeah. Oh ridiculous. God. Again, it's just, that's it's, that's fine. The numbers, crazy, the man. totals in the NBA are off. Like yep. they're just yes. they're off. They're yes. way over when they go over. By now, books and oddsmakers used to have a much better feel for it. I was texting with somebody yesterday about something else, and I said, "How about these totals?" And I I said, "I'm glad I'm not in a room with you." You know, it's hard. Oof. It's really hard because. You know, when you miss by 10, it don't, who, who gives a shit? You're not trying to right. get the number right. You're just trying to get it where you're getting action on both sides. You put up 238 now, they bet you all the way up to 247. Like, <laughs> and then the game finishes 270, and you're like, oh, shit, now what do I do? So Now, I'm only – I'm going to put something on the screen that is an example of the NHL versus the NBA. And before you come at me with pitchforks, I do understand this was a playoff run and whatnot. But Zidane Chara came out yesterday and listed what he was playing in the playoffs, okay. what Chara was dealing with in the postseason. Yeah. And you tell me how long an NBA player would be out if they were playing in the 2019 Stanley Cup Finals with a broken elbow, a torn groin Ouch. and a broken jaw. Oh, he was taking a regular shift. He was the best <laughs> player on the ice for the Bruins. <laughs> he was the best defenseman. He was their best player on the ice in 2019. He was unbelievable. Yeah. Broken yeah. elbow, a torn groin. How you're skating with that, I have no idea. I have no idea. Although skating is still the one thing that I know I do. I have no pain. Like I love I, skating has, oh. I have love it. It's wow. beyond therapeutic, better than running, better than walking. You just can't skate with a torn groin. How do you do that? How do you play hockey with a broken jaw? Every time you get cut. Gotta be on the good stuff, right? Oh my, you're so like, I mean, high. 
you are just, flying like you know woof, ten thousand feet every game. Yeah, that's that's I don't know. Like, and it's so funny because they play, and they go on these runs in the playoffs, and you don't know until after the fact. Yeah, they like, all yes, start to the all of everything else, right? Like you, it, it, like we used to say it. They give you the injury report now, and the NHL has made a farce of the injury report in the playoffs. Yeah. They say lower body injury when it's his shoulder. They say they say, you know, left arm contusion when it's really his right ankle. Like right. you can't because you can't even tell the opponent where it's at because the opponent is going to make it known. Listen, we're going to put you in a corner if we know your ankles aren't. We're going to drill you. You know. You could, sh- you could, guy's gonna go block a shot. Guess what? You're gonna keep it low, and if it hits him in the ankle because his ankles hurt, uh, okay, it happens. I mean, that's that, but that's the code. It's not the now code again. Anymore. I know it's a playoff series. I know it's the Cup Finals. I get yeah. all that. Like LeBron would fight through wars. I get all the fact yeah. that like, you know, NBA players would crawl through glass to play in the finals. I get all that. Just showing you, I couldn't imagine if an NBA player was dealing with this, what an NBA player actually would have to suffer through. I mean, this really just happened to come up today. In the feed, like this thing, or did you go back and research that? Well, I found it last night. I saw it last okay. night. Okay, oh, I tweeted. Awesome. I tweeted it last night, and I and I said, I said an NBA player would be out a month just reading this list of injuries. <laughs> <laughs> I, might just reading. On, I might bet on there, but it's, <laughs> an it's NBA player, number. an it's NBA player would read that and go, "Oh my elbow toward." I mean, groin, broken jaw. I can't play tonight, coach. Sorry. <laughs> like it's just so frustrating to bet hockey versus betting basketball in the NBA professionally. So, I mean, we talked about it on the show, but Patrice Bergeron got a, got a puck off his face. Massive welt on his face. Off a shot. That wasn't like it just deflected up. That was a rocket. Hit him in the face, went yeah. off the ice, was off the ice for two shifts, came back, played the rest of that game, and then played the next night. And he's <laughs> he played. 40. He's my age. Yeah, he's, our age. He's, yeah, he's 40. I mean, it's ridiculous. These he guys don't have to prove nothing to nobody. And he yeah. got a job. Like, you know, when a kid in juniors and gets hurt, the problem is if they don't come back, there's another kid that'll take their job, maybe be better, and they never get another opportunity. That's the mentality. There's always somebody that's going to take your shot, take your spot. That's gone now for a lot of these guys. They don't have that sense of urgency to even not only themselves, but their teammates. I need to be out there for them. Yeah, I'll fix it. I'll deal with the pain after. I mean, my my first concussion at, at, at Penn State, I, I looked down at the blue line of the puck. I got destroyed. I was a freshman <laughs> and some senior something, but just nailed me. To, I skated to the bench after I stopped having the lights going in a circle. <laughs> and I shook my head like this, and the guy was like, you good? I said, yeah, I'm good. I played the next shift. I played the rest of the game. When we went back in to go get changed to go home, I went the wrong way. I t- I w- our locker room was to the right. I went to the left. They're like, where are you going? So what do you mean? Come down here. I got dressed and my buddy said, what day is it? And I said, it's got to be Monday. It was Wednesday. Oh. He said, we're going to the hospital. Get checked. I played next week. I didn't even miss. Stupid. Stu- I mean, it's not right to sometimes hurt well, head injuries. I think head injuries are different. Physical in- injuries it's a mental state. Broken jaw, dude. Like, it's how a mental do you state. Plan with that? It's a mental state. I mean, it's... Man, oh look, man. if you read, uh, you know, David Goggins ran 100 miles on two broken legs. That is un- unbelievable. You can do incredible things. The human body can do incredible things if you want to put your mind in and just ignore the injuries you're suffering through. You can do way more than we think. NBA players can play through way more than they want to. They just choose not to. And if you're allowed, if you coddle your mind and you baby it and you think I can't play for whatever reason, because I don't, you know, I have a hangnail, you're allowed out. You give yourself the out. The human brain is your worst enemy when it comes to copping out and stopping doing things that are hard. It wants to be soft, coddled and comfortable. And if you make it that way for the player, they'll take it. NBA has got to stop making it comfortable. The pushback is, is that it's all it's a long term thing. If I keep pushing and keep pushing, like Chara did all this, and then the the, the Bruins said, "See you later." Yeah, but we he don't played, need you anymore. He played for two decades. I and understand, he, but you, <laughs> you you put your body on the line. You do all this stuff for the team and for this right. and for that. And then as soon as you whatever, 
someone determines in an office right. upstairs, he's Fair. done. Fuck yeah. him. He's right. out. Uh-huh. So now the players got to make business decisions to invest in themselves in long term to get the next contract, to get Fair. the next thing, and just play for the playoffs. That's the pushback. Now, there has to be a happy medium because the load management thing is clearly hurting the product. That's what somebody has to sit two people in a room between the, the players union and a president, the commissioner of the leagues, mm-hmm. whoever sit down and say, figure it the fuck out. They haven't added games. The human body hasn't changed in the course of 20 years to the point where we can't go play 82 games. We've seen it be done consistently. Why not just make the season 72 games? Okay. But why we don't have to, we've seen it before human, the human body can handle it. We know it can. We know the human body can handle it. We've seen players. We've seen Jordan. We've seen Bird. We've seen Magic. We've seen the all-time greats suit up every game, hurt or not hurt. They've played because right. it's their job. Because the fans are paying money to watch them. That TV ratings are important to them. Growing the sport was important to them. These players don't care. They got their money. I got mine. Don't need to help you. Right. Needs to change. There needs to be penalties. There needs to be a, a changing of focus, either financial rewards for, for games played or contract incentives that, you know, if you don't play a certain number of games, you don't get your full contract. That There needs to be things put into place that will make these guys make it to their benefit <laughs> to want to fight through it and play it. I, I can't. I'm getting blown up. Sorry. I try to keep my phone away because I know I watched the replay back uh-huh. uh, the other day and the phone was buzzing. I'm like, I was doing it while I was watching the show back. And I apologize to all of you but again. Uh-huh. Thank you for being here and hitting the like button. And somebody just announced in the chat they're up to 95 subscribers already. Like mm-hmm. they were number 95. So somebody's going to be number 100. Let's go. Um, whoever's number 125, if we get there. Okay. Um, they get a hat custom design on me. Wow. Uh, reach out. Whoever's number 125, you put it right in screenshot it and, and send it to ask the BVB at gmail.com. And, and, and you, you will be able to custom design your hat. We're going to make that a thing. Ooh, uh, I like that this website thing and we'll, we'll be able to figure it out, but yes, you will get one. Anyhow, um, I'm getting the come, the come and go pictures. So <laughs> you. This is, this, this is a you. thing. I, I can't wait till flights become affordable. We're going to do a fucking Midwest tour. tour. <laughs> go to Des Moines and Omaha. Let's go. Let's go. Real quick, oh. this just jumped off the page, and this tweet was significant. Yep. We know the NFL is king. We know betting on the NFL is king. Yes. But the NFL playoffs resulted in the third highest weekly handle for New York online sports betting as the state reported 450.7 million in handle for the week ending from January 22nd, ending January, ending January 22nd, okay. 57.45 million in gross gaming revenue, the mm-hmm. highest gross gaming revenue weekly total for New York ever. Yeah. We've said New York numbers are real. Yep. Do you believe that number? 57 million in gross gaming revenue for a week. I, <laughs> There's a lot of people that live in New York. There's a lot of people. That's a lot that of, that's a, is that, that's just sports betting or that's yes. just, that's just sports betting. Yes. That's not, that's not, you know, slots and table games and all that other stuff. So take that times 10. That's what the, uh, the, the casino will, numbers will do. Right. That's at least 10. That's why all this other stuff is nonsense. Um, Do I believe the number? I need to see what the promotional money is. That's, we, that's, know, we, we never see that, though. Well, that's – I mean, listen, I I saw Metcalf going back and forth with Howard Stutz from Nevada Independent asking about how the numbers are reported because he thinks the number that they're reporting for the Nevada Game and Control number different than the numbers he's looking at. Whoa. He said, I don't understand how they got this number. What is this number? Because I got my number here. We did, you know, almost $900 million in handle, and it said we did this, and it only says we're 2% of the state, and we're really – we're really – you did 900 million to handle and you're only two and a half or something percent of the state you got to be out of your mind. Like it can't be right. So huh. I don't know. Uh, again, you only know the numbers of the joint you're at. Right. I kept a mel- meticulous record of the numbers every month while I was in it. I saw the growth. I saw different areas dropping the UFC betting 
kept going up, up, up. I was, I was telling people all this stuff for years before they actually reported it because I was in it and watching it. I don't know. I mean, that's a big number. It was a lot of good games. I mean, it was makes a lot of sense. And in January, told like Saturday, there was 144 college basketball games. 144. Mish wrote a great article about it. Saturday's yeah. in the book. It was a great article. It's hard, but it's volume. It's volume. Right. It's mm. probably legit. Hmm. Matt, don't put this next graphic up because I sent you the wrong link, but I want to ask you this question. Oh, a 45 year old biotech CEO has reduced oh, his Lord. biological age. Oh, God, is this what you tweeted about yes. at 6 a.m.? Yes. You sick <laughs> son of a. I was texting you something else. Yes. I was cutting a clip of the putting a uniform off for the show to post it. You sent this. I was like, what did he just say? Well, no, this is, I mean, what do you mean? I, I sent you the, the mugshot picture on Twitter, on, on, on text. That picture is amazing. <laughs> that mugshot's amazing. I couldn't I, stop laughing at that mugshot. I don't even know what that dude is. He probably but got the same game. I Harley tweeted before. this. I didn't text you this. I tweeted this. Yeah. This is so obviously if money not. was no object. Okay. Cause it costs $2 million to do this. Money, but was this no object. Okay, Two this guy Brian million. Johnson is forty-five years old. I'm forty-five. Okay, he believes that he has basically found a fountain of youth. Okay, his body is five years younger by all metrics than what he is at forty-five. Okay, he, he has the heart of a thirty-seven-year-old. God bless. Okay, the skin of a twenty-eight-year-old. And the lung capacity of an 18 year old. Measure. Okay. Never mind. Continue. <laughs> How'd he do this, sir? So, 5 a.m. mornings, he gets up. He takes over two dozen supplements every day. Two dozen. Two dozen things for his health in his heart, his brain, his circulation. He eats a vegan diet. With no more than 1,977 calories a day. 1,977. So under 2,000 calories. That's actually doable. That's no problem. Okay. He exercises daily with three high-intensity workouts a week. This guy got a job? I mean, well, seriously. He's a biotech guy. So he goes through blood tests, MRIs, and a colonoscopy every single month. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Listen. Oh God. We this has been a hell of a show. This is this is this is our opus right here. This is our this is our opus. So the parlay is what does he do <laughs> monthly? He does full blood test, full blood work on Good everything. Work. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Full body MRI. Must like being in a tube. Okay. And then a colonoscopy every month. This is the part that gets me here. <laughs> right? This is the part where you're like, um, every month. <laughs> this is, this is okay. But if I, mean, I, if I could give you five more years of life by you doing this, would you do it? This does not sound, there's nothing. It's not meant to be fun. Living this way, living healthy, living past 90, 95, a hundred, whatever it might be. It's not meant to be fun. I have a unique perspective on all of this because I was there. I was uh -huh. in the dock. When I write the book, I might call it eight hours from dead because that's what the Whoa. dock told me I was when, wow. when I woke up line. eight hours from dead. Um, well, I said it to him and he was like, Whoa. And I said, no doc, you just said I could have been gone, but right. I did the colonoscopy. Yep. I've done that twice. A hundred percent men. You should do a colonoscopy when you get every year, 45 every year, do it. This guy's doing it once a month, you said. He's doing it once a month, yes. This guy's doing 12 a year. Now, now, <laughs> like the kids say, this is a little bit extra. A little bit? A lot extra. I went for the colonoscopy. The guy said, I'll see you in five years. Everything looks clean. Yep. Like everything's good. Perfect. I mean, whatever. But if the I mean, dog told taking, me I had to do it every year. He's taking a small dose of lithium, which is meant for bipolar disorder. I mean, he's taking uh, turmeric and zinc. 
and metformin and like he's two dozen supplements he's taking every single morning a mix of solid and soft foods vegan diet fully no meat and under 2000 calories a day well obviously he won't like the show because we had uh omaha steaks and we said i couldn't do it I I tried being I, I really looked heavily into at one point in time into a plant based diet, and I can't do it. Oh my goodness! I cannot do it. Cannot I cannot eat. I cannot do it. I I, I don't. I mean, it's almost like this sounds like almost making a deal with the devil. And I, I mean, we got guys in the chat that's saying he's done in five years. He ain't gonna even make it past five years. You sick sob. So he'll die. <laughs> he's forty five. He died at fifty. He's gonna that's die at fifty. That's I horrible. Mean, it's crazy, right? But, but like he's monitoring his whole body for all cancers, for all types of strokes, all types of hematomas, all types of things you know that are going on in his body. He's basically like he has his body hooked up to a computer monitoring it at all times. So he'll catch anything. This is why it costs $2 million a year to live like this. Somebody asked a good question in the chat. Um, Pierre Chevalier, who's been an OG here with us for a long time. Uh -huh. Couldn't he just get all that from one multivitamin? I have no idea. What the I, mean, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think you can go buy this stuff. You can't get lithium over. You can't go to the store and say, give me lithium. No. <laughs> lithium is a controlled substance. Oh, my God. <laughs> but he may have uncovered well, like, it. What if you're doing all this and, God forbid, like, you hit by a bus, the wrong yeah. place at the wrong Oh, you, hell yeah. You, you're not going to survive. Absolutely. Yeah. No, this cures just natural progression of aging. This has nothing to do with you know, stepping off a curb and getting hit by a bus. It's not going to fix that. So this is just, that's what people say. I, I could be gone tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to live the way I want to live. I want to enjoy myself. I want a steak. I want a cigar. I want a burger. I want, <laughs> I want whiskey. I want, yeah, I want the things I'm going to enjoy because I have no idea when a boulder is going to fall from the sky and crush me. <laughs> my, my buddy, my buddy down in, <laughs> down in the, in the place, what, watching the, watching the joint, he just said he should just, you know, marry a Latin wife. She, she'll kill him. She'll, oh. she'll, 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 she'll get married. Like, Jeez. people are sick. You guys are nuts. <laughs> That'll kill him if you're getting married? It's not, I mean, that's, it's that's not like the eating, life. Eating, it's the wife. The wife. <laughs> <laughs> I spent $2 million to keep my body right. Well. And she offed you. Um. Yeah. I need $2 million for for my habits, too. This so is she, expensive. This is ridiculous. The, the little more, in, in, if you want any more incentive, doctors say that he has the gum inflammation of a 17-year-old, meaning his mouth is very healthy. That's always good. You got to have a healthy mouth. And That's and they've been good. tracking his um that part of his body at night, and it, it has the same dexterity in operation of a teenager. What, what has the dexterity of a teenager? What was that? That part of his body. The thing that tends to happen in the morning. Title shots. My he's, man's he's, fight. he's good. He's good to go. He's in the ring. <laughs> he's, he, of a teenager at 45. Bam. So if you want the incentive that that's the benefit. I mean, is it. that a good thing? Sure. Sometimes you just want to take a nap. I mean, can't you just like <laughs> one title fight? Like, what do you want to fight like a 17 year old for? I don't know. Get to be 45 and fight real good once and then just leave me alone. Yeah, there you go. So eh, just oh FYI, God. I thought it was a fun conversation. All right. Game for tonight. Bruins were, were dogs at the open against Tampa. No longer the case. You're riding the lightning tonight? No. I, I So I was going to text you last night. And again, I went to sleep so early I forgot huh? to. But I was like. Did you see the line? I was going to send you the text. I bet the Bruins the already. Your favor. Yeah, I bet them already. What's, bet what's the Bruins record again? Overall? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, on just the road. season. No, no, no. Just for the season. We the don't Boston Bruins record is 38, board. 5, and 4. 38, 5, and 4. Yep. January 26th. And they they're dogs. Six games in a row. They're dogs. They were. They're no longer. <laughs> I want to know who put that line up. <laughs> you can't make the Bruins the fucking dog overnight. I don't care if they're playing Tampa. I got this jacket from a guy in the book. The guy ran the refreshments at the arena in Tampa. So he got all the good gear from the team. Oh, okay. And he used to come out at the book at the Cosmo. I uh, 
I got to meet up with him, actually. Hopefully, he's doing good. I don't know if he's still doing that, but he brought me the jacket and said, please wear it on all your shows and all this stuff. Hmm. This was years ago. This was five okay. years ago. This stuff still fits. It looks good. It kept real nice. good. So I figured I'd wear it today because I wasn't going to – I couldn't let you – Talk about the Bruins and not give you some resistance. <laughs> so, did they lose tonight? Is this a Tampa game they is, lose? It's 30 15 and one. They have 61 points. They're 19 points behind the Boston Bruins at home. Tampa is 18 4 and one. Boston is 16 4 and one on the road. So, yes, Tampa can absolutely win this game. That's why they opened up as the favorite. But I'm taking the Bruins. If you give me plus money or even money on the Boston Bruins, I'm going to bet them every single time. <laughs> It's not even a question. See, like this is what the book knows too. Yeah, of course. You just bet. Not all the Boston money already. Now you just keep them a slight favorite, and the book's gonna go fuck it. These Bruins got to lose sometime. Yep. And I and I get the point. I do. Total six. Over. Maybe, but the Bruins defensively, man, like woof. This could be a two-one hockey game. This is a watch. This is not a hell bet. yeah. This is a watch. Hell yeah, it is. Oh yeah. I, this, is, this is a hard bet. Right Best now. thing I, ESPN ever did was put the center ice package on ESPN Plus. You can watch all the games. I watch every game. I watch at minimum four night four games a night now. At Look minimum. At on my phone, ESPN Plus. I, I do all my different things. There's always a game on on my phone. I just scroll through. I watch different games, either you know, watching the, fir the first period or third period, beginning of the game, end of the game, gift, over first period, whatever it is. I'm. It's the most intelligent thing that has ever been done by the NHL is to cut that deal for seven bucks a month. You get every hockey game. Fun. It's fun, it's, isn't it? It's, it's especially because it's they're competitive. They're fun to bet, and it's just it's a more consistent play. It's a better watch than baseball. Sorry, it is to bet on. It's faster paced. It's fun. It's brilliant. It's absolute brilliant. If you don't have it, I couldn't recommend it more. To you know, do you listen to the audio too, or just watch both? Okay, I like it because I actually I learn a lot because I hear the rival. A lot of times, I'm getting the other side, the the local teams broadcast. That's fun, that, isn't it? It's good because I get more information. They're giving me even more right. information that I'm seeing. Like, I didn't know that the Bruins' third period puck differential was so crazy. And they kept on talking about it for the, the rival team uh -huh. broadcast. Kept on saying, yeah, it's a tie game, but you know what's coming. Yeah, it's a tie game, but you know what's coming. Like, they, they were the ones like, this team in the third period is unbelievable. We need to have a lead going into the third period. We don't. Got to worry about, and they lost. <laughs> and the, the Bruins went ahead and smoked them in the third period. So it's it's beyond refreshing. You, you there's no like you get the hockey broadcast forever. I mean, I I don't know what they were like in Boston per se, but like the Penguin broadcasts, I learned so much from oh, listening yeah. to the radio guys, especially. And then when I got to the book, I mean, even down in Curacao, I was the only guy sitting there watching hockey, like the the. Kids and girls and stuff that I had in the island, what they could mm -hmm. care what they didn't even know what hockey was, right? And they're like, "Why do you watch this?" I'm like, "I like it. It's you know, fun. It's always on the TVs all the time. I think you can learn so much from watching it, and that's good. It's 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 uh, it's setting us up too for baseball season because I think you can listen to the baseball. You don't even have to watch it. baseball. Just, just is so slow. It is. It is. It's so it is I love better. it. I I love it. Okay. I love baseball with a yep. dog and a beer in the summertime. I told you yesterday, my family park is my favorite place on the planet. I love Fenway Park. I love baseball. I'm not watching a Diamondbacks, you know, t twins game. Okay. I'm not watching that. You have a bet on it? You Do you? I would never bet on it. I don't, I don't have any interest. Oh, in don't say never. I don't say never, but I'm just saying I just don't. I, I don't have a to lot bet of on. lean times. In, Fine. In, like, I, I could wind up betting. Like, I tell you right now, I will be betting a ton of your fees and nerfies this year. Oh, I will be betting. I, oh. I'm just, I'm going to boil baseball down to just quick and dirty, six outs and be done. I'm really? just, I'm going to focus a ton on that this year. Yeah. Cause it's nine innings and it's just that and first fives are probably the other way I'll bet a lot of baseball games this year. I mean, I was, hurt, Dave, I would, I lost 15 units last year betting baseball. It's hard. I was horrible betting baseball last year. 
I've got to do something differently. I can't do baseball again the way I did baseball last year. Right. I've got to find a different angle. I have to find will, a different way. Strike out. Per, It'll be just yeah. like this. It's just going to no, it, just like the hockey. I'm telling you, it's going to show itself. Maybe, I'm telling you. Maybe. I don't know. But baseball killed me. I was awful. Uh, the Jets are at home against Buffalo. You want yes, to take a flyer are. on the under? Keep the roll, the Winnipeg under train going? But what about Buffalo to the over? It's part of the problem, right? Because at home, the Winnipeg Jets on the year are 31, 14, and four to the under overall. They're uh, at home. They are, uh, sorry, at home, Winnipeg is 15, six, and two to the under at home. Jets are an under, under. On the road, Buffalo is sort of the 13 and nine to the over on the road for Buffalo. So not dramatically over, just kind of over. Mm. on this um there is an ass with this i don't know if i like this i don't know oh no I, I, haven't, I, I haven't messed with it at all yeah oh my gosh i just checked the twitter account there's five pictures of come and go <laughs> right now <laughs> yes that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> on our twitter account people just are tagging us with come and go pictures that's great I told them you guys are the best uh okay show. so jake jake is asking hey guys it would be cool if you guys could chat about NBA first to score 15, like the gift in the NHL. Oh, One of is anyone keeping tally and if there's any similar value or streaks, I'm bringing this up during the hockey conversation because the answer is no, there's, we just spent all this time talking about players and who's in and who's out. There is no rhyme or reason. There is no consistency. There is no way of tracking the NBA anywhere near tracking the gift in the NHL because goaltenders matter. Style of play matters, right? You don't have any of that in basketball. So no, you can't. It's do just first. it's just too random. It's a Come fun as hell bet, and like in the tournament for March Madness. Yes, and the NCAA tournament, it's a fun bet. On a Wednesday in the NBA, it's no, it's not a fun bet. Bet it three days in a row. And watch the beginning of the game. Watch what it does. I'm yeah. telling you, it'll change your life. Sure, go to a dartboard. Put well, three, that's, so, I'm not saying put, it's an edge to win, but it'll give you a hell three, of a sweat, and you can be done watching put the game. Put the blindfold on and throw ball, throw darts right. at scores, and you have just as much luck as cashing those bets. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's it's literally a dart throw. So enjoy that. Yeah, it's very hard. I mean, there's no. I don't think there's any edge. There's it's totally random, and no, it's, it's there's no ridiculous. rhyme or reason as to why. Although, if somebody wants to do it, go back and look who scored most first to the fifteen. It's a good exercise to do. Before the All Star break, I don't know what it's going to show you. No, you know it's not like Auto doing the first period right work for the hockey. Right, that's a little bit different. Um, Anti came in and said, if the Sabers are wearing the black unis, is the real question because they play, um, they win when they play in the black unis. I personally love the blue unis. I love the old school Buffalo Gilbert yeah. Perot, <laughs> Pat Lafontaine. Yeah, those guys like from back in the days when, but that's who I remember. Don Edwards. Don Edwards was one of the goalies, and then obviously Hasek was there. But uh, the Sabres are fun. The Sabres are a fun team right now. Mm. Flyers are at the wild. Philly continues to be an absolute against the spread wagon this year. Right. A team that you just, when it comes to, if you're looking for winning, 33 and 16, the Flyers in the puck line. You'd be up over 12 units if you'd bet every one of those. Bruins are still more profitable, but the Flyers are the most with 33 wins, have the most wins on the puck line. Yeah, you're taking a plus one and a half. You're laying a lot of juice sometimes on those. Yep. Because, but they, I mean, that's. It's minus 142 tonight at plus one and a half. Got to be a play, no? I think total it is. The game is. What's the total in the game? Six, six and a half. Under. Oh, six. Sorry, yeah. Six, yeah, six under juiced, six. Flat. Hmm. I don't know. That's strong. I think. I think I would lean Flyers right there. Yeah. So the in, in the in the Wild, they're okay. They're not like anything. They're kind of a flat team. The thirteen and eleven on the puck line. So, oh, uh, sorry, that was at home. Sorry, they are at home. They are those on the road. At home, the Wild are actually they're bad. They're really well. They're really bad. They're fourteen and eight on the puck line. Who? At home, the Wild at home. Or sorry, eight and fourteen, rather. I was going to say fourteen and eight is good. What the hell eight, are you talking? Eight and fourteen. About? Sorry, the way the the way EV Analytics does it is that the under is always on one side. So if I read it, oh, my brain, oh, my oh. brain read up, read the really under, which I, it's wrong. It's the they're down. They're way under. Down seven units on the puck line at home. 
The so. boys in the chat are putting together a, a meet and greet in Indiana at a Four? casino. This is fantastic. I wish I while could go. While you're watching this? They're they're trying to get together and oh and, no. Uh, yeah. Bromel Camp's trying to get you a come and go hat. <laughs> just, I will absolutely 100 percent wear that shit. He Are just said, hey, come and go. Can you hook up my guy sports BK Kunsig with a hat? <laughs> oh man. I'm in. Oh, Give me a fucking t-shirt. <laughs> I can't believe it. We'll put that shit. Um, they can sponsor a segment. We'll do a come and go segment. It's like that. You know, come you and go. That, and it came and went the next day. Thanks to Chester. The Frank's, the Frank's <laughs> hot sauce. That'll we'll put that shit everywhere. You'll put that come and go stuff <laughs> every, everywhere. Uh, Celtics have lost two straight. They're 18 and five at home straight up. They're laying eight and a half tonight against the New York Knicks. Are we going to go anywhere near this number? Because I'm not. This number's crazy. Boston's reeling a little bit. I've been keeping the BVB hat on because it was a BVB kind of day. But I, yeah. I love this Celtics hat. I just picked this one up. Hmm. Lose two straight and playing the Knicks at home. Eight and a half. Too high? I don't know. That's, that's a lot. The Knicks stink right They now. do, but who's playing for Boston? Arrested everybody last night. Let's look at the board. Let's see. I, the, the, who rested everybody? Boston. Yeah. Are they resting everybody tonight? I don't know. It's eight and a half. Hasn't moved. Boston's Stay right where it is. Side. Boston's the side. Man, I don't know. Suns. I mean, you can definitely do, by the way, a Chef Benny parlay tonight. Boston, Boston's a definite possibility. B's and C's? Yeah, it's a good parlay tonight. So. Uh, but the Suns are laying one and a half against Dallas tonight. Suns are laying one and a half. I saw this last night and thought, what am I missing? Mm -hmm. Who's not playing for Phoenix? Right? Well, it's Luca. Mine should be three, three and a half, four, something like that. I think oh, it's low. It's 221 and a half. Yeah, something's up. Low total. Something's up. Somebody ain't playing for the Suns that normally would play. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Cautiously, looks way too easy. Some of these games, the Suns are. Well, they got the identical records. The two teams have identical records, right? Um, I think they're twenty-five and twenty-four. Both of them. Something sounds like right. That. Let me just make sure. TNT's yeah. got the call tonight. Nationally, uh, yep, twenty-five, twenty-four. Yep, eighteen and fifteen. Dallas on the road. Eighteen and seven. Phoenix at home. Dallas stinks on the road. <sighs> but it's almost a pick, which is kind right. of like, wait, what? Right. Um, I would, I, I, I mean, again, pregame, if we would do it, which I'm not doing, <laughs> it would be Phoenix. Right. But in game, we'll watch it and see who's playing and we'll get a feel for a game. Mm. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, time for better to book it. Just two quick ones to throw at you. Oh, by the way, Sports Grid, thank you so much. Sorry, you're going to miss better to book it. You guys don't watch the show live to get the full show on YouTube and Twitter. Go, by the way, at Boston versus the book on YouTube. Go subscribe to that. We're back for a big roll call Friday tomorrow with Sports Grid here for BVB. Yes, we are. Okay. Man. Boston minus 105 against Tampa. I took, the, I took the Tampa jacket off because I didn't want to be accused of just picking against you and your teams and all That's that good. other stuff. Good. You were right last night. Crazy. This has got to be the game the Bruins lose. No? Yes. And this is, I, I said it on Just the Picks last night. I said, look, at, I'm firing on two teams where the trends and the prices are too good not to bet them. But I understand why the numbers are the numbers, and we'll just play it out, and we'll see. I, I was I lost Wednesday. I won Tuesday. I lost Wednesday. Ping pong going back and forth. Maybe it's a good Thursday. I'm booking it. Not, 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 it, it they won six in a row. They're gonna lose something. First we line. Bet on, we usually bet on the streaks, and we never keep it. We never make it personal in the book. But this one's personal. I got, okay, okay, good. I'm glad. Bruins got they got to lose today. That means, that means they're going to win. So that's good. Because, because right, personal. like this is yeah. This this one's personal because Boston plays Florida next on Saturday. That's the game, and then they lose. Really? Yeah. Because it should be an easy win. But they played last night. I watched the game last night against Montreal, or two two, two nights against Montreal. They look bored. 
Not going to be bored against yeah. Tampa. Be bored against Florida. They'll they'll be on tonight. Boston will be focused tonight. This is the game they want. All right, we'll see. It's just, so, it's, who they're they going to lose after on this Florida? trip. They're going to lose. There's no debate in my mind. They're going right. to lose one what's, of these games. What's this? The trip. What's the trip? It's Boston. Florida. It, it's oh no. no it's, it's, what's the road it's trip? Tampa, Florida, and then who? Uh, let's see. They play. I think there's a one more game and then Carolina, goes. Toronto. It's a five game trip. They play back to back Saturday, Sunday, Florida, Carolina. They're definitely losing one of those games. Definitely losing one of those games. Mm -hmm. So I think they yeah. win tonight against Tampa, lose to Florida. Carolina's potentially to lose two in a row, okay. and then they'll beat Toronto at Toronto because they own the Leafs. Mm. Well, that's going to be fun. Do you imagine them for the, the guys that are going to play in the All Star game? They go all the way down. Tampa, Florida, they're there. Then they got to go Carolina, back to Toronto, and then fly back down to Miami. That's a pain in the ass, but all right, that's fine. They'll, they'll live. Yeah. Devils minus 120 on the money line tonight against the Preds. Betting and booking it. Why so low? Well, it's not no longer that number. <laughs> it's what it was last night. Yeah, minus 127, minus 130, minus 135. There, we'll bet this one. New Jersey's been really, really good on the road. The best team on the road. They're 18, 2 and 2. Move the damn number. They already <laughs> did. I guess they're taking the bets on it. I guess it's going to happen. We're going to go on a couple games losing on the road. It ain't happened yet. Uh, I don't see it. Nashville's 13, 7 and 3 at home, but they lost the first game in overtime in New Jersey, 4 to 3 to mm. the Preds. I think Devils get their revenge tonight. Get back and beat them. Nice. Even okay. up that series 1-1. One, one. Yep. Favorite thing about today is what? Um, So two things. Yeah. One, got a letter on the fridge that I saw yesterday. No one even in the house told me, which is starting to become a problem. They don't tell me shit <laughs> in the house. It's really starting to be an issue when I want to know. You want a need-to-know basis. I am on a strict <laughs> fucking need-to-know basis, and it's bullshit because I like to know. And I still am the husband and the dad in the house, but I might as well be paying rent because they don't tell me nothing. But I went to get water, and mm. on the fridge was a letter from the school that said Kendall was named the student of the month in January. And we get to go have a breakfast in a ceremony at the school in February. Cool. So there will be a day. I believe it's the first week of February. I will need to be reminded of it 10 times. They don't understand. I got a lot going on. They get mad. We told you. You told me three weeks ago. You told me three weeks you ago. Don't you don't use your calendar on your phone. You see how much the problem is with the phone? I need more on my phone. I need less on my phone. Just alerts. It, it pops Just up. Put alerts. A one day alert. Doing a show. Everybody's yelling at me. I'm getting <laughs> alerts. I don't need any more alerts. All right. Anyhow, that's number one. And number two, back to my Moses the Barber story. Moses texts me. I try to tell him between him and and the rat, and the hat, and the bomber. These are all guys that we, we would play cards every single week, the kindergarten crew. That's what I called them. That's what I nicknamed them because my dad nicknamed us all that. He said, you're all like kindergartners. You're like little kids. You like to go play cards and hang out. We did it every Sunday, come hell or high water, snow, rain, didn't matter. Sunday night, we were at the shop in the basement playing cards. I got to see Moses last year. I stayed at his house in Pittsburgh. Well, that was two years ago with my daughters when we went back. Put us up. It was a tremendous time. So I'm briefly last year when B. Howe and I went and did the Pirates thing. We don't get to see each other that much, but we talk a lot. So he sends me a text. Will you pick my brother up at the airport? He's coming in February. My brother's older. You know, I would prefer you pick him up. He's, you know, he's got to get in and out of a car and all this other stuff. And I said, what day is it? It's like February 20-something. I said, well, I mean, I don't know. It's at 9 a.m. So, yes, at 9 a.m. I can come pick you up, but I might book myself on a show. I'm trying not to, all this other stuff. Plus, I don't want to hold the brigade up. So I'm like, yes, Mark, remind me again the week before, and I'll be glad to go pick Anthony up. So he says, what are you doing right now? I said, I'm doing the show. I'm, I'm doing the show right now. Here's the link. He said, all right, well, you know, I got you again. I said, what are you talking about? He said, me and Christopher, my son, are coming out. You're picking us up at the airport. 
not my brother Anthony. Now can you do it? You jag off. And I was like, that's the best thing about today. This is one of my dearest friends. That's amazing. All of my leg for a week. He's been telling me, can you, or you're going to be available to pick my brother up, all this other stuff. And I can't wait wow. to talk to him right after the show and say, nice. absolutely. I'll get a fucking limo to pick you up. I can't wait. I'm going to take him to the breakfast place, the omelet cafe. We'll go to Grimaldi's. We'll eat. We'll go to that place. Me, you and Bartel went to nice that Italian place. That was outstanding. Mm -hmm. Like, so, um, just made my day. Like I, I, I got something to look forward to for a little what man time, time. What time are you picking him up? Um, I got to get all his flight information. I believe it's like February 20 something. Oh, at 9. AM. It's not today. No. Oh, I mean. he can't wait to tell me. this is what old people do. He He's couldn't hold people. He couldn't hold his water. He <laughs> couldn't wait. <laughs> okay. He I was, was going to say, like, I was like, cause you know, we're talking, we're, we're talking to Bartell in 45. Minutes. I know. I can't <laughs> so, wait for that. I want to eat lunch. I was like, wait, you're cutting like, into my lunch time. We're going to tell Steve that you're not coming. Um, okay. No, 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 no. All right. So we, we, we got that. Um, my favorite thing about today is really quick. So last night, Madeline's iPad updated. And so it has all these like new apps on it. She didn't know, but it had one of it's the weather app. Madeline now has adopted the kid's word of bro. Everything's bro, bra, Everything. bro, bro, bra, no. everything, bro, bro, bro. Yeah. So she goes on there and has, has listed Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Vegas, blah, blah, blah. Yep. So she's on Vegas, 37 degrees, <laughs> swipes it, gets to New York, 45, swipes to Boston, 47, swipes to Philly, 48. <laughs> And out of nowhere, like, I'm just doing my thing, whatever. And she just goes, bro, that's bullshit. <laughs> I just go, wait, wait what? Did you what? Just... <laughs> and I just, I started laughing. I just, she it's sounded like, she sounded like she was on the show with me and you. Like, literally that, <laughs> I was like, I couldn't yell at her. No. Because she's now watched the show enough. She's heard me and you say that enough. Right. That, like, I wanted to be like. And I just started laughing and I was like, you know what? I was like, that's the best thing about today because that literally came from the show. <laughs> he literally said, bro, that's bullshit. That Vegas is colder <laughs> than Boston. And, New York. and I was like, you know what? It is bullshit. Vegas shouldn't be colder yeah. than Boston and yeah. New York. That's yeah. fine. I agree. Yes. That's a fair, it's a fair line. You used it correctly. Welcome to the show. <laughs> I, was, I couldn't even get mad. I wanted to get mad at her, but you can't speak like, and I was like, you know, I'm being a hypocrite. This is the so. thing. We take the kids everywhere. And when we sit down and we, you know, when we eat, and stuff, they're sitting right there. Yep. They hear us talking. I've been guilty <laughs> of that since the older ones were young. And if you've been to my house between grandma and papa, the word shit is the least of the problems <laughs> that they say. <laughs> so, you know, I have a video of Kendall at about, I think, three. Someone cut off Jessica, Mrs. Kinsig, in traffic. Uh-oh. She heard it. She repeated it at dinner. <laughs> I lost it laughing. I said, this can't be. What did you say? And the kids recorded it. It's one of the funniest videos of all time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. In a so, little squeaky high-pitched voice. <laughs> it's too high pitch voice. She goes, it's you fucking good. bitch. <laughs> That's what she said. I couldn't stop laughing. You fucking bitch. <laughs> couldn't stop. Couldn't stop oh, laughing. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Yes. So there you go. Big Folks, crowd in here today, boys. Thank you. Go Monday. New place for the YouTube on. stream. The, that's for the new. Tomorrow's Friday. Roll call Friday. Tomorrow's we roll got, call Friday. We got it. But right have, now, we before you get lost in that. Go to YouTube, search at Boston, at sign, Boston versus the book. Not like the actual, physically write the at sign, Boston versus the book. Hit subscribe because Monday, that's where you'll find the show. YouTube's not moving. It's at Boston versus the book on Twitter. That's not, that's not changing. Just YouTube. On Monday, we're going to a new place, but tomorrow is RCF. Roll call Friday, a big one coming. We'll break down lots on the NFC and AFC championship game and more. Dave, Farah, Matt, talk to you tomorrow. Roll call Friday.